Hey what's going on guys and welcome to another Twisted League video. So I just bought 100,000 feathers and it will be enough for 99 fishing and 99 fletching. I think I need like over 50,000 for fletching and the rest will be easy 99 fishing. By the way if you haven't seen any of the other Twisted League videos the playlist to all of them will be in the top of the description. So Winter Tall is actually a pretty decent way of getting Snapdragon Seeds, so I want to go over there in just a bit, but first I want to get above 60 agility so I can actually jump the pillars for more agility during the Todd, so let's get that real quick. Okay, I went a bit overboard, I had a lot of time to AFK, so I did pretty much 1 million fishing experience you can see on the counter on the top right, and that gave me 61 and a half agility level, or 61 and 1 fourth pretty much. Okay, so this is all the crates that I got, and I got 3.5 million fly fire making experience and 100,000 agility experience. So agility is still very slow, obviously, with the pillars, even though you jump between the games. So let's open all of them and see if we can get some snapdragon seeds. Oh, I got the boots as well. That's the last piece I needed, so I got 100 points for that as well. Three, three snapdragon seeds, pretty unlucky. I got 15 last time, so yeah, but still it's some seeds. So it's time for some alchemical hydra kills, and I have really got this down now. I'm not dying at all anymore, and I'm... Pretty damn comfortable. Okay, 15 runners. That's so good uh, because I don't have that many potions right now. That's uh, also why I went to Winterthal to get the Snapdragon Seed. So getting these uh, Raynars and Snapdragon Drops is really, really good. Second kill. Let's see what we get. Also, I'm using Broad Arrows for the entire kill except for the absolutely last phase, which is the Ruby Bolt's E time to shine. My kills are 5 minutes and I can definitely get that down. But yeah, it's pretty hard because I don't have any PVM relics. I'm feeling something on this kill right now. I mean, it's very optimistic to feel something after 7 kills only. But, oh, uh, Astral Runes. That is literally the worst drop you can get. And I got two of them, you see in the chat. That's two Astral Rune drops, not just one. I actually want to get my kill count on the Alchemical Hydra to 25 in this video, so I'm going to keep doing it all the way until 25. Oh, I thought I got the Dragon Throne Axes. I actually got kind of, uh... Happy there for a second, but nah, it's only the bad legs. I mean, it's some Alex, but it's definitely not really what I want from the Hydra boss. So I think my main goal for a chemical Hydra in general is going to be to get the Brimstone Ring. I don't really care too much for the Dragon Hunter Lance, as it's just so rare. So I think, like, every video I am going to do some alchemical Hydra and slowly work towards it, but... Yeah, it's not going to be like, yeah, I'm going to get like 1000 KC to get the <laughs> Dragon Hunter Lawns. Obviously, if I do get it, it will be very nice. But yeah, it's not something I think I'll strive for without the PVM relics. Can always get the ring also from the normal Hydras. So I'm going to do a bit of boss Hydra and then some normal ones. I think I'll show a couple of more every single time I kill it, but then I'm just only going to show the highlighted drops I get, because I don't want it to be way too repetitive. But this one was pretty cool, because I got the Dragon Bolts, and they're going to be pretty good to use. The Dragon Bolts E is, I think, Rune Bolts, so they hit really consistently compared to Ruby Bolts, which are adamant. And also the proc is really good, like, they proc like 50s. And this will be the last loot I'll show in a row, and then if I do get something of significance, then I will show that of course, but Rainers again, as I said earlier, very good drop. Making use of those Snapdragon Seeds that I got from Wintertoad, and got 75 Herb Lore, 5 more levels to get to that AD, but I actually only realistically need 78 for Saradomi Brew, so getting there. Oh nice! First actually pretty decent drop from the Alchemical Hydra, which is the Mystic Robo Bottom and Top. Uh, I don't think it's actually that good, but they look very nice. <laughs> New personal best, 3 minutes and 56 seconds. Uh, I think I was just very lucky with the hits, to be honest. Okay, so this will be the last kill. It was kill number 25, and I actually tried a whole kill with using Ruby Bolts the entire time, just to see how fast I could do it. And yeah, look at that, 3 minute kill. So I think 3 minutes is probably the fastest I can do, and that's if I use Ruby Bolts the entire kill, which is very inefficient. So I would say like 4 minute kills is pretty normal. So I'm actually going to finish the task on the normal Hydras. I do think it is a task to complete a Hydra task that should give a decent amount of points. Um, the normal Hydras can also drop the ring parts, it's just, I think, twice as rare from them. So it's actually not too bad. I mean, I think every piece is like 1 in 360 or something, and you need all of the three, so... Yeah, it would take quite some time to get it, but, I mean, killing the boss would be equally as annoying to get the ring, I think, but I will always do a couple of alchemical hydra kills every single video, just because of the chance of getting the ring pieces a bit more frequently, and also getting the dragon hunter launch, of course. Uh, but I have accu accumulated so many hydra bones from this task, like... 
I'm going to show you guys, I think I have roughly like 150 to 200 Hydra Bones in the bank and I will be using them all after I have done this task to get a really nice amount of prayer experience. So I'm currently at, let's see, I really suck at uh, prayer switching at the same time as the uh, recording. I am 83, sl not Slayer, prayer right now and I also have a bunch of unsold heads in the bank so I'm going to use all of that also after I've completed this task. So we should really get quite a lot of prayer experience done. Alright, here we go. This is going to be the last kill, if we can get it down. Okay, complete a Hydra task 100 league points. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of points for just completing a task. But uh, let's go over to the bank and see how many bones we have. So this is all the stuff that I have for prayer. So I'm going to see if I have actually limestone right now. I don't. Okay, so I can't make a limestone altar, unfortunately. I'm thinking about maybe, like, look at this, I have 40 dragon bones and you can use, I think it's 100 to be able to use the bones on the altar in the uh, temple spider place, I don't know what it's exactly called. Um, so I can't actually make an altar as I said, but I can use that altar which should be fine. It's uh, a bit more running, but I don't have a um, like, crazy amount of bones, I mean it's not like 10,000 bones I have to use, so it's probably a good way of doing it. So to be able to access the sacred bone burner, I think I have to kill him and then fight some monster and uh, then after that I can go in there and then to be able to use this altar afterwards because it's going to break I think you have to sacrifice 100 dragon bones I think, I don't know if it's uh, any kind of bones or if it's um, only dragon bones, I will try that in a bit but I brought some dragon bones we will see but I'll get back to you guys when I've killed this. Okay, so when you have killed the monster, you get a temple coin and you go all the way in here and I have to pray mage, I don't have too many prayer potion <laughs> points, I mean, you put it into this thing and you should uh, be able to go through. There we go. And I I don't know, can you pull this lever now and it should open the door or unlock the door? Pull the lever in here, the lock on the door shift, yeah. So now you can actually use this altar and I'm going to have to use 100 bones on it. And I got no prayer experience right now, but I guess after 100 bones I will actually start gaining uh, prayer experience. You have to check the faith, wait, okay, I see to the touch. But it's it's uh, 100 bones you need to use and it can only be dragon type bones. So I have 40 to use at least and then after that I will have to kill 60 red dragons. Or the baby dragons, probably going to do the baby dragons so I can unlock the altar. Okay, so I've now completed all the 100 bones and that was really quick on the baby red dragons and I also got one grubby key. I'm just going to put that in the bank right now and let's use all the bones. I'm going to put the counter up and let's see how much prayer experience we get from all the Hydra bones and whatever I have in the bank. The unsold heads as well, of course. I just want to see how much experience one of these bones is. 6.6 thousand experience. It's almost as good as a gilded altar by the way. This is supposed to be 300% more experience than burying and a gilded altar with burners should be 350 so it's definitely very good. Now that's all the bones used and the insult heads and I ended up with 2.2 million prayer experience and 89 prayer so pretty close to that 90 which is really nice. Had some elites and I'm going to hunt for a combat bracelet so let's see what the first one is. No combat bracelet, but summer pies is pretty decent food actually. As I only need one item, I'm going to open one by one, so second one. Oh, that's a lot of items, but not really what I needed. At this place again, third elite, let's see what this one is. Nothing, two dragonstone necklaces. Fourth one. Nope. Okay, we have three more overall I can do. Fifth one. Oh, there we go, combat bracelet. Um, yeah, I just need to enchant it now, so I need to go swap, swap spellbook and we should be good. Okay, here we go. Time to enchant it using a cosmic rune, 15 earth, 15 water. There we go. I have a combat bracelet that I can look at the upgrades. Yeah, quite a decent upgrade for melee compared to the Shazian gloves. So I want to do some thieving on stone chests. Meanwhile, I do all my broad arrows. So I'm going to also pick up a lizard man task so that after I have uh, done all the fletching, I am going to complete the lizard man task as I'm already there. So when I got teleported out, I just fletched on the way running back and I gained 2.6 million thieving experience and I ended at 87 and I'm pretty much soon done with my broad fletching. Also, I've got 262 fangs from this and I didn't even get a talisman. Also, I'm like 900,000 off 99 fletching, so I will have to get more broads in the future, but I'm very close to it. Okay, so I just hit 96 layer on the lizard man shaman, so I have 24 left. So three more levels until 99 Slayer, you don't really unlock anything like past 95, I have every monster unlocked. But 
250 points for a 99 is obviously very nice to get and I'm 44 million ranged experience so if I get like 99 slayer at the same time as 50 million ranged I'll probably actually hit 50 mil range before that but that's going to be a combination of 750 league points. Okay, so I'm actually going to start a new grind now, and that is going to be crafting and prayer. So I'm going to get a red dragon task, if I can find it, there we go. 97 red dragons, and I will be back here and pick up another red dragon task for sure. Like, I'm going to do quite a lot of this, because I want to get my crafting and my prayer up by doing the Forthos dungeon um, plays with the red dragons, because you can both tan hides and use the bones on the altar for, for the three times experience on the bones. So I have a lot of uh, ranging to do, which is also going to give me pretty close to hopefully 50 million range experience. And uh, yeah, I'm going to put a counter up here. First I have to get 73 crafting though, because I need uh, one more level to be able to make the red dragon hides, if we can go here into the Vambraces and then after that I can obviously level up and make the bodies. So I'm going to put a counter up here for actually uh, crafting because that will be the lesser experience of the two I think and then the prayer will uh, obviously be faster than that but I want to see what I will get from crafting because I really want to get to 80 as soon as possible because, uh, because if I get to 80 I can actually make a glory. I actually even forgot about it, but you get and sold the dragon heads, which is insane prayer experience. But this is one trip now, and I'm going to tan the hides here with this guy, all of them, and I brought my money, of course. And here we go, I have my crafting experience here, so let's make all of them and see how much experience I get for one inventory. So 780 experience for every single one of these hides is actually really good. Um, so let's see how much experience it is. It should be like, what? Just above 8k or something like that for a full inventory. Yep, it's going to be like, yeah, 8.5k roughly for one uh, inventory. And then I'm going to use the bones on the altar. 4.3k experience each. Yeah, I'm going to be get a lot of prayer experience from this. And I'm going to actually show you guys uh, here on the right side in just a second when I'm done with the bones. Obviously, you can actually do this and put them on and it will go even faster, like twice the speed. Wait, it's not using it now? Okay, well, anyways, uh, there we go, there we go, you can use another one, another one, and there we go. Okay, so let's go over now to the other side here. So I gained a total of 8.5k crafting as we saw, and I got, where is prayer? Oh, there we go, 51,000 prayer experience, and also including the Ensolder Dragonhead, which is like 25,000 prayer experience. So every single inventory I get will give me... Holy shit, like 70,000 prayer experience if I get the one and sold head. So I'm probably going to stay here until 99 prayer and then I will do something else and whatever crafting level I end up with at that time is where I'll stop. And uh, I will obviously count in these and sold dragon heads so every single time I get one I will uh, make sure that I add that so that when I have like 97 prayer or something then after that I have enough heads to be able to get to 99. So. I'm going to end the video here and I hope you guys did enjoy it. I'll start the next one with uh, being a bit further into this grind hopefully. And uh, yeah, this is also of course going to give me really good range experience and really good slayer experience. So we're leveling pretty much four skills at once here, which is extremely nice. Actually five now that I <laughs> think about hit points as well. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of my content, make sure to subscribe. And hopefully we can get some really juicy loot from Alchemical Hydra in the next video. Really looking forward to getting one of those uh, brimstone ring pieces.